You know, something that no one really likes to think about is how eventually one day everything will come to an end. Some things, unfortunately, sooner than others. When it comes to YouTube channels, I've seen people become inactive, didn't necessarily... Most of them didn't necessarily want to become inactive, but life, unfortunately, often forces us to do other things. But unless someone just stops uploading videos, they just abruptly stop doing what they do on their channel. We usually don't expect a channel to just end, to just announce that they're stopping. Which is why when SourceFed announced that they're going to be doing their final week this week, I was pretty surprised. If you've ever heard of Philip DeFranco or SourceFed, you probably have heard of SourceFed. In a moment, I'm going to explain what SourceFed was, and currently is, before it ends. But, to give you a full perspective, I followed SourceFed from near the beginning when they first started, when it was Elliot Morgan, Joe Beretta, and to be honest, I don't remember who the rest of the cast was because it was so long ago. But basically, SourceFed was a news channel where they did mostly news, especially at first, but as time went on, as the years went on, I noticed that uh, eventually when most of the original uh, members of their team left, they eventually started doing like internet challenges, certain kinds of games, as well as other things. Eventually, SourceFed also became SourceFed Nerd, where they did news on things such as comics, tech as well as other things. Now what I've missed in recent years is SourceFed doing just mostly news because even though I was still subscribed to them I didn't really care for things such as internet challenges and them playing games and such. I originally subscribed to them for news. In fact at one point there was a news video of theirs I didn't like so I unsubscribed but then like a week later they had a really good news video which made me subscribe again. All in all, those of us who are subscribed to SourceFed and have been subscribed to SourceFed are going to miss the SourceFed team dearly. Of course, every time a SourceFed member has left in the past, we miss them, but this is going to be different because SourceFed is just going to be gone. Now, as someone who studied YouTube for about six or seven years, if I remember correctly, what SourceFed is in itself has been pretty amazing because Philip DeFranco started off with his own channel and eventually he basically created a business which was based off of YouTube and was able to create other channels, hire other people and essentially create more jobs for other people who love to do YouTube. You see, as someone who's been studying YouTube for so long one of the people I've always had some of the most interest in was Philip DeFranco because of the way he did things. He has basically been one of the inspirations for me when it comes to doing YouTube, creating a business, because at some point in time I would like to also try to get other people to do things with me and create a business of our own where I can create jobs starting in YouTube but hopefully eventually branching out. But what he did has proved that you can not only make a living off of YouTube, but also create an entire business off of it. Now, unfortunately, in my speculation, I think the reason why they eventually started doing internet challenges and games and things like that is because I don't... I don't know if them doing just the news was profitable enough, or if they had enough views, or how that worked out. So it's possible that they did those things in order to try to keep up with the trends and such things as that. Because unfortunately if your channel doesn't get enough views and stuff then you're not going to really be successful. Which if you think about it, unfortunately that can be kind of sad because that means even if there's a thousand people who love that channel but there's not like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands then it won't be successful enough keep going. That's unfortunately one of the sad things about YouTube, but 
that's just one of the sad things about media in general is if it's not popular enough, it's not going to do well enough to be successful. Anyway, it's sad to see SourceFed go to see it end, but I guess sometimes it's just part of life. And if somehow anyone from SourceFed were to see this, I just want to say good luck and thank you for all that you've done. So this wasn't going to be the original video that I was going to release this week, but last night I saw that SourceFed had posted their video about how it's going to be their final week. At first I didn't know if they just meant something about college, because I was hoping it wasn't going to be the end of SourceFed, uh, but I was wrong. So this video was kind of, what's it called, what's the word? I guess you could say improvised. It was like spur of the moment kind of thing. I had already had something else planned, but I did this instead. So this week I don't really have any news or anything, like any new things that I need to announce. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video, press like. And if you'd like to see more videos of mine in the future, please subscribe. And I hope you look forward to my next video, because it will probably be my next comedy skit.